lose your mind, eat your crew, die, is apparently the tagline of this game. Hey, what's up guys, Drex here, and welcome to Zero Experience, Sunless Sea. Sunless Sea appears to be the next form of entertainment medium that is inspired by Joseph Conrad's 1800s novel, Heart of Darkness, standing in line behind Spec Ops The Line and Apocalypse Now. The game even opens up with a quote from the author himself, obviously alluding to its inspirations. But that's all my speculation, because I have not played this yet. I've booted it up, gotten it in full screen, and that's about it. It is currently free on Steam right now because it is a free weekend, and so that's why this video is being made. So I suppose we should start with a new game. Some interesting artwork. Kind of Bermuda Triangle-esque. All right. So what do we have? Story, hold, journal, officer, shops, shipyard, captain. Choose a past. My name's Tim McDonald's. I was a grunt in the army back in '71. We were just boys then. We didn't know what hit us. We weren't prepared for what we were about to face. It was April 22nd, 1971, when our orders came through. We were supposed to take a bunker. Held by Charlie. But we were just inexperienced, fresh off the boat. First day in Vietnam. And we were already tasked with strategy and sent into combat immediately. One of the guys in my platoon, his name was Tilda Swinton. He just wouldn't stop screaming. And if he kept screaming, it would give away our position. So I go behind him, I put my arm around his neck, and I just pull back until the screaming stops. And we're able to take the bunker. That's how I got started, the army. So I suppose that's my past, or uh, I now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. So that's my past, apparently. Um, who were you? A street urchin, a poet, veteran of the campaign, 68! An ordained priest or a natural philosopher. Better than the campaign of 68. That's me. Alright. Stern and extracting. Where is the music? I uh, it died. Just continue already. What does winning mean to you? Uh uh private no wealth, probably. I wealth. Uh, I hear the sound effects. I don't hear the music. A last scrap of paperwork. I'll be sir. Alright, sir it is. Who are you? Alright. Can, can we have the music? Choose your name. My name is... Was it Timothy McDonald? I think it was... Yeah. Here. Timothy McDonald! And I'm just grunting my platoon. Alright, we'll set that up. Alright, story, hold, journal, officers, shops, and shipyard. Your current ship. Alright, story, London, your lodge... Uh, let's just go to the Admiral's office. Alright, continue. Setting the sail. Click the launch button to leave port. Ooh, launch. Yes. All right, we are sailing. Um. Okay. Interesting. It. It actually. This has very nice controls. It actually controls like a boat. It is an immediate response, and it drifts. So yeah. Apparently, we're in the we're leaving fallen London towards Bad Steveners Abyss. Oh man, we're coming up on some red boat. I assume that's an enemy. We can battle with our deck weapon. Don't know what that does, per se. Uh, can I shoot this guy? Okay. Guess he's a freaky or something. We'll continue on then. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Where are we supposed to take this guy? Oh. Short time, a uh, lamp icon will appear above the log book. Means the opportunity to wait you at the next port. Oh, sweet. So we gotta find some other ports. And it looks like we found a lighthouse and maybe an old mining facility or something. Okay, is this another port? Uh, I'm not sure. But, um, 
It's Elk and Rock, just a lighthouse. Hopefully we don't crash into this. Yep, just sail under it. This game has some spectacular artwork and a very great atmosphere. I am really liking this setting, but kind of weird getting into it. Uh, what is Galder's Moor? I'm not too sure. Full power to the engines. Heck yeah, let's go. Repair ship, toggle lights. Um, is there a map? Oh, yes, there is. Oh my gosh. That is huge. Wow. So this is a big map. I assume that I'll be able to figure out how to play this eventually. Um, but I'm not too sure. Oh, there's another light on the horizon that appears to be a lighthouse. So maybe there's a port nearby. Wow, look at that lighthouse. That is um, that is very futuristic looking. Mad Eye Moody's lighthouse, apparently. All right, you're probably turn on or off. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, nor where I'm going, nor what to do. So that's how I turn off the light. But the sea is sunless. So I'm probably going to want to keep that on. But I see some light over here. I assume that, that might be a port. Or just some plankton. Or a mine. Not, not too sure what that is. This game... Oh! I see a dock. I think that's a dock. So we may have found a port. Iron and Misery Co. Funging Station. Demo Island. Alright. So how do we that circle by his port? Go there for stories. Oh that isn't good. We have crashed into the port. We gotta throw the puppy overboard, so this circle flight is the one it's talking about. Yeah, yeah, I understand now. I'm just gonna pull in there and just dock before I can damage myself. Perfect. That, that's how it does. Alright. So we have found a place. Give the pass sign to the factor. I should bring my strategic information. This is your contract. Yeah, I'll do that. Do I select anything? No, okay. T with the factor. Poor Fleming's company. You can turn our way from a schedule. Yeah, I've gained some supplies and a fragment. Uh, what else do I do? Compile a port report. Port report. I'm Total Biscuit now, apparently. That's interesting. Gather supplies, matter of luck. It could either go away. And two terror, one supplies, and I was fortunate. Alright. Now, what do I do? I'll just go away. And maybe I'll head back from London sometime. Is there a, um. Is there anything I'm supposed to do? I'm not too sure. I still don't know what these glowy things are, so I'm gonna see if I have if I. Oh, it. N nothing apparently. I'm not too sure what it is. Ooh, we have found a. Uh... <gasps> we can battle. All right, here we go. Let's do something. Let's uh battle this guy. Pirate frigate, crew 10, 90 health. Uh, do I dock or do I battle? Well, he's turning around, so we are going into battle, apparently. Um, okay. Oh, there is a pause button, so it is kind of FTL-ish. Sorry that I'm using the standard of FTL to describe having a pause button. Uh, but, yeah. That's pretty much the best way to describe having a pause button in a roguelike game. Oh! Oh! He kind of exploded us badly. Yeah, that wasn't too fun. Speed up. Oh, nope, that's not working. Uh, why are we on fire? What's our hole at? It would probably be good to know. Um, oh, we're at 37. So, yeah, let's fire, fire that. And he is destroying us. Which is not too fun. So I'm going to try and... Ooh, I've got a stratamagy. I'm gonna keep behind him so that my thing will fire, but I'm out of his firing zone. See, this is called thinking. And this is how you need to survive on the under Z or whatever it's called. Or you just need to have a lot of guns. Oh, 
Oh no. That yep, okay, I could, I saw that, that was gonna happen. We we just we defeated him, we had more health and more crew. Let's loot and scuttle her. S scut scuttle, that has some implications. Some sort of barrel. Tap the bung carefully. Oh boy, this game is British. Oh Furkin of prisoners, honey. Okay, we're just gonna close that and head back to this port we saw over here. Uh, suffered eight damage, lost one crew. Ah, that's just old Jimmy. He's just playing a prank on us, you know. Classic Jimmy always goes overboard during the battles, you hear? Wait, was he supposed to come back up? Alright, so we have this very mysterious port over here with what looks like village huts or whatever. So we're going to head to the little dock area and see what they have to offer. Could it be a strange land, such as in Heart of Darkness? I'm not sure. The man- oh, it's a college. Oh, I thought it was like a poor village. No, 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 it's not. Okay. Why is it we could seek sanctuary here where the fruits are plenty? All right, Mangrove College. Engaged officer, maybe his daughter. Hello. Who? Oh, maybe. Like, maybe Bluth. Uh, I have- you now have one times maybe's daughter. P interesting way to phrase that. Pick up a passenger. Heck yeah. I have one times a shady short. Say shady short. Shady short. Shady short. Shady sort. There we go. All right. That's all for now. Hunger is gone. You've lost ten terror. I'm now wary. Can I? I don't know. Like repair my hole or something useful. Hello? Okay. We're just gonna do that. We're gonna launch. How do I... If your hole's at 50% or better, you can repair. Okay, so not at 14%, I suppose. Well, I, I guess it's time to, um... Uh, return to fallen London. We are quite far away. Oh! Oh, wait, that's us. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's head back to Fallen London, if we can. It's about this way-ish. So we'll try and get back there and send in our port reports. But wait, a ship? It is. We can attack. Oh, he has 130 health. Heck yeah, we can... Well, huh. That's unfortunate. I think he just sunk himself. Freaking... Filthy casual. Alright, let's head back to... Oh my gosh. Are these giant mushrooms? Oscar Bluth would be so happy. Kit, kit, what, what are these? Water sluggish with hypothetical head. Oh, that was supposed to help in. Yeah, vi violet vegetable books. Mycelia, yeah. So, mushrooms, maybe? Um, I'm stuck in the mushroom and I can't break there we go okay let's head over here what is this that is certainly interesting so the utter shroom all right so this game has a very nice atmosphere very good feeling to it very interesting artwork um I don't know how to feel about it though it is very exploration focused and very very sort of slow moving and it's kind of hard to get into you need to I guess like any roguelike it takes a couple tries couple runs to get through before you know what you're really doing but I think I can figure it out and I think this is a game I'll be keeping in my library so try it out for the free weekend I'm not too sure about it, though but it certainly has some beautiful artwork look at this fog uh, oh, we're out of fu fuel, and we're being attacked, and, well, things are not going well for Trex and crew. Uh, well, we, we, we've, ex we've ex exploded. That was, um, perhaps we'll be remembered in song. I guess that's the best way to describe it. But anyways, guys, that was Zero Experience, Sunless Sea. Pick it up in the free weekend. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, well, it's a free weekend. So, anyways, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.